हेलो गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक एन एक्सोर लॉजिक सर्किट विद इन दी टिंकर कैट सो फर्स्ट यू आर सीइंग दिस क्रिएट न्यू सर्किट बटन सो यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन इट now our main window is open so first you must know which ic you are using for the building of the xor logic circuit so we are using here 74hc86 this is a dip package for the four xor gates simply it is called as quad because quad is a simple like abbreviation for four okay now ic is in front of us now we will make our power circuit so we will take one battery it is of 9 volt okay we will make it upright and okay now one thing more to be noted that these ic packages are designed to operate on 5 volts so we cannot give them directly 9 volt so it is better to convert them on 5 volts with the help of a voltage regulator so lm7805 voltage regulator so input must be connected with the positive terminal of the battery ground must be connected with the negative terminal of the battery and output of the voltage regulator with the power pin of the ic which is usually like a 14 pin i think also you need to give our common the ground of both the voltage regulator and our xor ic okay now our power circuit is completed now we will move towards the output showing component so we will use an led simple one led for the output showing but this led also do not use to work at 5 volts so we will add one current limiting resistor of 100 ohms okay now the, this is actually connected with the cathode of the LED so uh, we will connect it with the ground of the IC because all of the grounds must be connected with each other so that circuit will perform its task also the anode of the LED must be connected with the output 1 of the IC and we will search for output 1 so this one is output 1 okay now we will now as we are using just one gate so we just need one output and two inputs so okay now we will take two dip switches so we will take two dip simple dip switches and what is meant by dpst dual pole single throw so so now you just need to combine 1B and 1B terminal of the dip switches and also need to connect them with the output of the voltage regulator that is 5 volt because our 5 volts on the input means 1 and ground on, on them and ground on them is considered as zero it is i'm talking about the inputs and if there is five volt on the output it means that led is on and it is considered as one logic one so we will connect one a with the one a and the one a with the one b
okay now our circuit is completed now we are just going to run it before running you must know that what an XOR actually do XOR simply takes two input and show us one output if it is like two input XOR gate and when both the inputs are same like either it is 0 0 or 1 1 then output must be 0 and if they are different like 0 on first input and 1 on second input or 1 on first input and 0 on second input when they both are different then the output is 1 so okay now we will run it now we can see that when it is 0 0 like both the switches are at 0 as you can see their knobs are at 0 0 so our LED is off it means that when it is 0 0 on switches LED is off it means that L uh, our output is 0 now we will make uh, 0 1 now the first switch is at 0 the second switch is at 1 and LED is on so 0 1 means on now we will make first high and second low now it is considered as 1 0 and now we can see that output is 1 LED is on when they both are 1 1 and 1 on input then the output is 0 that is the LED is off so hopefully you got this very simple concept regarding the XOR gate implementation within the Tinkercad so thanks for visiting our channel.